Alright guys, welcome back to a segment I like to call Hero-Villain Mashup, where I put one hero against a, a villain, or villains, and more or less talk about the statistics and what would it be like if they were, you know, this hero had these guys in his rogues, his or her rogues gallery. So, let's get started. So as you can see from the title, yeah, what, um, today's Hero-Villain ma uh, Mashup will be Randy Cunningham from Randy Cunningham Ninth Grade Ninja. And the Sinister Six. Yeah, what would it be like if the Sinister Six were Randy's villains? What would that be like? Now, I could probably set up, like, the... Sin I think, like, the scenario would be, like, maybe McFist has uh, hired the Sinister Six together to take out the... Uh, to take out the ninja, and that would probably be the setup or scenario. Now, for intensive, all intents and purposes, what, you're probably wondering what incarnation of the Sinister Six I'm using. I'm using the original Six lineup. Vulture, Dr. Octopus, Electro, Kraven the Hunter, and Sandman. So, that's the, um, that's the Sinister Six lineup I'm going to be using for, uh, this, uh, for this scenario. Now... <laughs> Oh man! Now Randy has had ex fight battle experience against giant killer robots and uh, robots, and you know evil Cajuns, monsters that he's had to you know that were his that were his fr that are his friends that he has to rescue from being stanked, and yeah, he has fought some major opponents, but all of them are kind of mindless. The only real villains he's really had to go up against is the Sorcerer and McFist, and McFist is kind of well dumb. If he were to ever, ever fight the Sinister Six, he is not. He is going to get beat down hard. He is going to be very humbled real quick on how dangerous these guys are. These guys have nearly, together, killed Spider-Man on multiple occasions. So it goes out saying that if, the, if Randy is not careful, he is going to get smacked around hard. He is just going to... He, these guys could even kill him, and they wouldn't even care. They, uh, it's not like with the rogues gallery, where they have a, set, a certain set of rules. Like, if they were fighting the ninja, they beat him and realized, oh, it's a kid, we're not going to kill him. These guys would be like, oh, it's a kid. Fuck it, let's kill him. That would be the... <laughs> that would be kind of the general consensus across the board would be, yeah, we're just going to kill him and call it a day. So, from there, <clears throat> let's talk about individually. Like, if, if Randy had to fight these guys individually, starting with Dr. Octopus. Dr. Octopus is incredibly cunning, he's, in ver he's incredibly intelligent, and, of course, the four metal arms, the infamous four metal arms. Now, Randy, the closest person he's ever, you know, Randy's ever fought to that is Viceroy, but he's never really fought Viceroy in a head-to-hand match. And plus, Octavius is no vi vi Viceroy, yeah, untied. In fact, he's very, very different from Viceroy. This guy will, uh, you know, as one guy once said about Dr. Octopus and his tentacles, he could be off making a cup of coffee while kicking Spider-Man's ass, or in this case, the ninja's ass. You see, uh, Octavius will exploit someone's weakness. I mean, the, uh... <laughs> You see, the thing with the monsters and the robots are is that they have they do endanger people, but they've never really you know used them for bait or whatever. I mean, yeah, Howard's been used for bait a few times, but he's never you know they've never really had a major hostage situation and the, the the ninja could think his way out of. These guys, however, especially Octavius, he could hold somebody hostage and be like, "Look, you do what I say, or I'm going to crush my this tentacle here is going to crush this girl's skull." And I won't, you know, the only problem I'm going to have is cleaning the blood off this tentacle. So that's going to be, that would be one way of looking at it. And plus, Octavius is incredible, you know, like I said, Randy is very cocky. He is smart, and he can think on his feet, but Octavius is incredibly intelligent. I mean, he could easily work, use the ninja's ego to his advantage and beat him senseless. So let's move on to the next guy, if, uh... Randy had to fight somebody in the Sinister Six in a separate match. Sandman. Sandman... <laughs> Sandman would be a whole other kind of monster, because no matter what the ninja has in his arsenal, uh, nothing, any of his weapons, they're just going to go right through uh, good old Flint Marco or William Barker, whatever name you, you use to go uh, have him go by. 
the Sandman, no matter what you hit him with, he's just going to come right back. Now, the ninja has a few weapons, that uh, spiritual weapons that he could use to take uh, Sandman down. Um, you know, the ninja, you know, the ninja, uh, the newly acquired ninja hydro hand or the Tengu fireball. Those are a few things that he could use. But remember, the Sandman could make himself into a giant wall tsunami of sand and even make his, his whole body as hard as granite. And no matter what you hit, the ninja hits him with, even spiritual weapons, Sandman could just reform. And let's not forget, he's not, the, none of these guys are some mindless machine or mindless monster. They're a, ver they're a very functional working team. And separately, they're just as dangerous. Like, uh, Sandman could morph his body into anything that, you know, Randy could just hit, you know, chop his, you know, chop an arm off with the sword, oh, reforms, punches him with a fist made of concrete. Uh, among other, like, if he was to fight them separately, uh, the Vulture. Yeah, the Vulture would definitely have the aerial advantage. Not only that, he's had years and years of experience, and the whole thing of, Randy would probably be like, <laughs> hey, I'm fighting an old guy, this'll be easy. No, it's not. That suit gives uh, Adrian Toomes augmented strength, speed, and agility. So, yeah, Randy could be laughing his ass off about, you know, fighting the Vulture in a one-on-one -on -one fight until the Vulture smacks his ass so hard he goes through a wall. <laughs> and remember, out of all of, you know, he would, you know, have, he would dominate the skies. As last I checked, the, the ninja can't fly. So, <laughs> Randy's gonna be, would be in a dangerous situation in and of that. Now, now if he was to fight Mysterio one-on-one, -on -one, yeah, the nin <laughs> he would be, you know, I think Miss Quentin Beck, good old Quentin Beck, would be messing with Randy's mind tenfold, you know. He would just be like, ah, you ninjas, you ninja claim to be a master of illusions. I am the true master. I am Mysterio. That's how I see it. <laughs> and then we have, finally, Craven the Hunter, who would, yeah, definitely go Craven's last hunt on poor Randy. He would be completely overwhelmed with the, you know, the amount of, you know, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Randy doesn't have that kind of fighting experience to fight somebody who's gone head-to-head -head with Spider-Man, Wolverine, uh, Black Panther, you know, all these great fighter, you know, hand-to-hand -hand fighters. He would, you know, <laughs> I think that would be, that, you know, it would be against Randy's forte. And yeah, he has the disposal of all these spiritual weapon, you know, bladed weapons and all these other, you know, smoke bombs and all that, and even spiritual weapons like the, you know, the ninja air fist and whatnot. These guys, as a, Randy, I, oh yeah, I forgot Electro. <laughs> Whatever, you know, Electro could easily just absorb all of Norrisville's power and just convert it into energy and blast him, or blast it right back at him. That's the thing. Now, as a team, these guys would probably smack the living shit out of him, as I said earlier. Randy is, that's the thing with Randy, is that he's kind of complacent in fighting most of these robots. Yeah, he can figure, you know, thanks to the Nomicon, he can usually figure out a way to stop these machines and monsters, but these are, will, are, more, are, uh, are uh, capable, thinking, cunning, very experienced people, and metahumans. They're, yeah, all of them pretty, excluding Vulture and Mysterio, yeah. Four out of six of them are metahumans. You gotta remember, Craven has that special elixir that gives him superhuman strength, speed, and durability and agility. So, yeah, four out of six. Yeah, I'm counting. Uh, well, I guess you can count Octavius as a metahuman because he can control those te the tentacles telepathically. So that counts for something. <laughs> so yeah, four out of six of these people are metahumans and have had years of battle experience against not just Spider-Man, but other superheroes of the Marvel Universe. So you have to look at this as just this really... <coughs> as this really, you know, well-oiled, cohesive team. Randy would be just completely overwhelmed. These guys just would not play fair either. You gotta look that, uh, take that into account. These guys would be probably capturing, you know, capturing Howard or Teresa or, you know, Heidi or somebody else that the ninja knows or even talks to <laughs> and just be, you know, taunting him. Let's not also forget that what if, you know, he on some off chance, you know, he get you know, the ninja manages to beat them. What if the sorcerer gives you know, powers them up? Would that not be terrifying? Could you imagine these six guys with 
you know, <laughs> could you imagine these guys stanked? Could you imagine the sinister, the sinister stanked? I'm sorry, that, that was horrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, yeah, the sinister stanked six. <laughs> oh boy, that, I can't wait to see fan art of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, actually, no, I'm serious. I, I want to see a stank version of the Sinister Six now. I, I want to see what that looked like. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, these guys, you know, Randy would just be, you know... Com I, <laughs> I feel bad for him. Like, these six... If, separately, he would have a tough time, you know, surviving them. Together, as a cohesive team... I, man, I, they, could, they could kill him. They could honestly kill him. <laughs> so, you have to look at it like that, you know? Anyway, so what, do you, so what do you guys think of this hero-villain mashup? Do you think Randy could survive, or do you think the, he would, you know, fall to the Sinister Six? Uh, comment below, let me know. And uh, once again, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.